Shemai and welcome to the second part of this uh, tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to add a little e-paper display to our hardware wallet. Now this actually makes it a functional bit of kit because we can display a QR code on there, we can display an address on there and then um, we can actually unplug it and the address will stay on there because it's e-paper and people can use that address to send funds to us to our, um, uh, our, our wallet which is secure in our, in, in our trezor which is you know under that mountain um, and then we want to generate a new uh, address QR we just plug it in and it will generate a new address QR so it's actually a functional bit of kit uh, it's only a very short tutorial because I'm under the assumption that you've watched the previous tutorial uh, part one so if you haven't go and watch part one first and then go on to this one or else you won't understand what's going on with the code because uh, I'm not going to go through it for a second time okay so let's get started as with all my other projects, you can find the GitHub, um, the repo for this on my GitHub Arc BTC, and it's Cooper. Um, so if we go to the code here and have a little look at the code, uh, it's 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 pretty much a carbon copy of the, the Goomba project. Um, so if you haven't done the Goomba project first, you need to do the Goomba project first, or else you know and won't know what's going on or how it's working or anything. So, um, so yeah, complete the Goomba project first. It's got more information on uh, key uh, derivation and how um, entropy is used in generating a mnemonic and uh, the different types of Bitcoin wallets you have, deterministic and non-deterministic. So it's very important that you go and watch that, um, that one first. Uh, so all we need to do is just literally drop that code into uh, Arduino. And um, if I quickly go through uh, the bits which have changed, because this is, this is essentially exactly the same as the Goomba project, except we've got the ePaper module. Uh, so we need the ePaper library, which we've done there, which is GX EPD2. Um, you can install that by going to include library and then manage libraries. And then I think it's GX EPD should come up yeah gxcpd2 so type in gxcpd install it from there um, and then that should include the font here so you don't need to worry about that and then the next bit we've added is um, just specifics on the the specific type of e-paper display it's a 1.54 inch um, and these are the pins which we've used uh, on the e-paper display for uh, a pin uh, map here um, on how to wire up the e-paper to the ESP32, that's just there. Um, so, yeah, so you just wire it up as it says there, and then, um, you know, this, this, this should work absolutely fine. Uh, if we scroll down, what else we got? So we initiate the display, um, and then, you know, we, you would, if you've watched the last tutorial, you'll know what all this is doing. So we actually use the displays here in show address. So um, we select which way around we want the display to be, um, the font, the text color, and then um, this generates the QR code of the address uh, which has been selected. Um, and here we go, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, here we are. So this is this is the, the, the bit where it actually displays the QR code on the e-paper. Um, so it's pretty much like the code we've used before, although there is a, 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 an improvement on how it displays the QR code. Um, so we set the cursor to the top corner and then um, we go through line by line and build the QR code um, uh, out of little squares. So in the past, um, I've on my other projects, I made a BMP and then displayed the BMP on the uh, piece of uh, e-paper. Um, but Stefan had the great idea of just using little um, tiny squares to, to build the QR code. So that's great. It's really cut, cut the code down. So I need to apply it to my other projects as well. And that's pretty much it. There's, you know, there's this bit here. Um, there's, there's this here. And then where are we? You know, adding a couple of libraries and, you know, this thing here. And that's, that's it. That's, that's the e-paper integrated into it. So before it was a bit goofy because obviously to access the hardware wallet, you would have to uh, plug it into Arduino and then open up the serial monitor and then you know use that to scroll through the QR codes but just by adding this small screen the small e-paper screen suddenly it becomes a really useful little hardware wallet now I've obviously added my um, uh, public master public key which I got from my Trezor in the last video um, I've added that to the code but I'm not going to show you that now um, so if I if I go to upload here oh of course I've got to save it first um, uh, e-paper e hardware wallet okay all right so 
wait for the upload thing to fire first. It's got to compile it. Oh, the wire's fallen out. It's a good start. Where's that from? Oh, that's the power wire. It's an easy one to locate. Right, so now it's asking me if I want to connect. Yes, I do. I press the little button. Okay, it uploads the um, uploads it to here, and then there we go. Look at that. We got a QR code. Sweet. If I press that, we get a new address. You can actually see on the top there. It's got the index for the for the address. If I press it again, and again. There we are, and every time it's generating a new address. And it totally works. Um, just, you know, I just tap those pins and then it just generates new addresses. And it's, it's quite responsive as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can make a nice little box for this. Um, uh, and it's, it's low powered as well. Uh, it's pretty secure. Um, it's only got your, well, it's got your master public key on there, but it'd be pretty hard to get off the SP32. Uh, and then the great thing is, is the ability to unplug it it being powered off but I can still see that brand new fresh address which people can send Bitcoin to and I'll receive it in my Trezor uh, which is nice and secure uh, so actually a functional bit of kit and actually has uh, a unique selling point which other hardware wallets don't have uh, so pretty cool pretty cool project um, next I think I'm going to try and get an interview with Stepan on the library and on uh, some hardware wallet concepts uh, before we move on to the the final stage which is making this into a full Bitcoin hardware wallet. Um, so uh, until then, uh, keep hacking, keep building, and uh, thanks for watching.